The Danish furniture brand Sofa Company has built their brand around the mantra the sofa is the heart of the home. But how do you make this story relevant to a diverse audience with different lives and homes? And how do you make sure your content will work on different digital platforms? These were the challenges Sofa Company reached out to Proceeds Digital with. Sofa Company is a Danish online first furniture design brand founded in 2012. By taking full ownership of the value chain, Sofa Company wants to challenge the furniture industry by providing high quality design sofas at fair prices. In great collaboration, Sofa Company and Precise came up with the concept Sofa Stories. In a series of video content, they showed the role of Sofa in different people's homes. But instead of just building these stories based on our assumptions and hypotheses, we gave the audience a seat at the table. So to make sure that we reach the right people with the right content, we tested out the different length, we tested the music, we tested the overall storyline. We even let them have a say in how the video should be edited. We did this by outlining five personas that were strategically important to Sofa Company's business as consumers, and also who were relevant to the clips that we created and looking at the data of the consumers that had been purchasing before from that. We then went into a testing framework where we started out by first testing the beginning of the film. We were discussing whether we should start from the outside scenes where you can see busy world and people running around or whether we should cut straight to the heart of the home, so start from the sofa stories. And uh, we did this by uh, quickly running two different beginnings in YouTube platform and then based on data we defined that we should go straight to the sofas. The second test was framed around how long the video should be. We had a lot of discussions what is an optimal length for a film to have a proper impact where people will actually see and hear your brand. And then we tested different videos with two different lengths and then defined based on again data which one of them should be our main hero. The third test was uh, designed around finding out how to target our defined personas. We created different kind of interest groups and demographics on YouTube platform and then run through them uh, in the campaign to find relevant insights on the audiences and personas and how to take our media strategy to the next level. The next part was the fun part of testing, where we created five different beginnings for the films and decided to test drive these against the defined personas. After all of these tests, we basically had defined the best way to appeal to the different audiences and we were ready to launch our official branding strategy. And then we started basically the official campaign phase where we launched YouTube as sequencing campaign with three personalized tracks with tailored video clips towards the different personas. And then on top of that, we didn't want to rely only on the tailored versions, but we used one uh, normal in-stream campaign, basically just reaching out anybody else that might be left out from our official persona approach. An important part of this project was also a close collaboration with our production agency, because it, usually you see just a final film being edited and then made for one purpose only. But we knew that we were going to create materials for social, for YouTube, outdoor, movie theaters, and so on. So even on production days, we were super focused on that the framing was right, that we had both uh, footage for four or five formats, footage for nine, 16, and 16, nine. To truly understand and measure the effect of the campaigns we had on our audiences, we applied a brand lift study to the sequencing campaigns and to the in-stream campaign that we run towards the chosen personas. This was done to understand better how we actually were able to impact the brand through the videos that we ran and created. And if we look at the whole journey that we went through with the testing strategy, aligned personalized tracks and uh, creation of snackable content pieces, everything really paid off. From the first launch test to the final activation of the ad sequencing strategy, we saw over 130% increase in view rates, which means that the audience was showing much more interest on actually enjoying and watching the films that we launched. On top of that, the ad recall lift that we got uh, was 
over 430% better than what Google usually sees for the vertical. All in all, the whole campaign created an increased demand for the brand because we also saw a spillover effect on Google search and YouTube search for people looking for the brand and Googling for Sofa Company a lot more than before the campaign. This Sofa Company case I'm super proud of. It shows how creative brains goes together with data mines and creates a better end product. So we basically proved that a personalized tracks identified through data can really enhance the creative process and drive a proper impact and results.